This is going to be another video. Uh, in the last one, we took this engine apart, kind of went over all the stuff. This time, we are going to install a K20 Type S oil pump, K20A2 oil pump, uh, chain, and all that stuff. So this is a completely stock K24A JDM long block, and yeah, I'm just going to get to it. chain off, you got to take the VTC sensor out, it to come out, so this is your VTC sensor, now that's out, you got to remove the timing chain case. And there's 10 millimeter bolts all along here. You gotta take all of them out. Helpful, helpful tip. This bolt this bolt has this shoulder on it right here in the middle. This bolt, there's two of them. And they go down here in the bottom. So these are the locating bolts basically for the timing chain case. Take these out, set them aside, and make sure that you put them back in this specific spot. One here and one here. Those are the ones that are different like that? Only two bolts that are like that. We gotta take this piece off. This is the this is the oil pump 
chain tensioner. We're replacing that, keep the bolts. Alright. Five millimeter allen. Five millimeter allens. For the oil pump, this bolt. There, and this one right here. Get your little pry, little pry guy, and you should be able just to pry this thing up. Mmm, mmm. Mamma mia. Get you a techno shot, man. Oh, well, it hit me right on the finger that I busted yesterday. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Alright. So now that the oil pump is off, just kind of pull it up and you gotta dip it forward and you can pull the chain off just like that. And now this, you can see how it's got these shafts in here that spin. And this thing's super heavy. And this, it actually takes a lot of the engine's power to turn this thing. Um, I, I don't really know what the purpose of this is, I'm gonna be honest, but it, I think it's, it's got something to do with the vibrations of the engine and, you know, the fact that it's balanced, you know, it helps the engine run, uh, I don't know, smoother, I guess. So, but it's super heavy. I mean, it's at least three times as heavy as the oil pump we're gonna put on it. Anyway, we're taking it off. This is what you're left with. So, you will have to remove this piece of the windage tray. And you will have to pull this, this, uh, this part as well. So there's B. God damn, this thing is dirty. You have B and you have A. You gotta take both of those off. And You'll see, we'll have to get down in here and kind of clean this up, but. She's, she's pretty dirty. So. So a couple of things with oil pump, K20 oil pump on the 24. Uh, most noticeably, it doesn't fit. It does fit, but it doesn't fit. So this piece is raised up and this piece is flat. So when you put this on, you can see you've got a gap. It's gonna bolt, it's gonna bolt right here. And so what you gotta do is I'm going to take a sharpie and you basically draw a line up in here and you're going to shave all this off. Shave it with what? With a cutoff wheel. Shit. And then once this is cut, you're able to drop it back on and uh, put it back together. Another thing, and this is very important, very important as in if you don't do it, you're going to have no oil pressure. This port. There's a plug with an O-ring that's in there, and normally it's covered by the oil pump itself. However, this, nothing is gonna cover it up. So as soon as you start the engine and this pressurizes, it's gonna shoot that out, and all your oil pressure is gonna come out of there. It is threaded, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out of here, and then we're gonna Honda bond a bolt and thread a bolt back in. That way it plugs it, that way it stops your uh, oil from spraying everywhere and killing your engine.
So now that the port, now that that plug is pulled out, uh, we're gonna prep the oil pump because we've got to cut it. And before we do any of that, I am going to tape it all up so that way no oil gets inside of it, no metal gets inside of it. Okay, we got a bolt, we've got Honda Bond on it. We're gonna thread this into the oil port down here. And just make sure it's nice and sealed up. Honda Bond's gonna come out. It's all right, we're gonna torque it. This gets torqued to 16 foot pound. Which one is this? Just like that, the oil bolt. Old okay. oil port bolt here that we just put Honda Bond on and sealed it. 16 foot pound. Now that we've got the windage tray on here, this is from the RSX Type S Titan, these six 10 millimeter bolts to 8.7 foot pound. This, this, this is our old port bolt. So make sure that whenever you put this bolt in here, that the windage tray doesn't actually touch it. It sits on it or it goes around it. Don't actually let it, you know, sit in there. Otherwise, this, this tray doesn't sit flat. But now that all this is tight and torqued, we can put the oil pump on. Oil pump, oil pump chain. Put your oil pump on, and then when you do it, you're gonna have to like snake the chain on, like Jake the Snake. It sounded right. See what I did there? Yep. See what I did there? Just kind of snake it on, right when you put this on. And then... Press fit. Done, just like that. It's okay. It's a little loose, a little sloppy. That's why we're gonna put the tensioner on it. There are three special bolts. And I don't have the part numbers, but I could, I could put them in the video. It's fine, somewhere. This one goes here. This one, and this one, this one goes here. And this little piggy went to the house. Wee, 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 all the way over here. Three bolts. The torque spec I will put on the screen here. Yeah, don't now. <laughs> so tighten them to that spec. This one, these two are gonna be this, are the same. This is gonna be uh, 8.7 in the back. And I'm pretty sure these are 16 because they're the same size as the oil port, but I'll confirm that, but I'm pretty sure they're 16. And once this is torqued, then we'll move on to this guy. So 
so this is the K24, this is the original one. This is the K20A2 one. So if you put this guy on here, it's super weird, super awkward, and doesn't really fit right. So I'm gonna throw that one away. You're still gonna use the same bolts. And what this is gonna do is it just kinda sets it back a little bit and it kinda angles it. And everything's done, so as soon as you're done, pull this out, oil pump's on, everything's tensioned, everything's tight, now we're ready to put it back in time. <laughs>